Hi everyone, welcome to Needles and Haystacks at 64. Nice fun one now. Um, Merle with a cripple weapon, silent again. Um, Zeke with the Morning Star and Scout Glen with a uh, Mercer's Axe. I'm going to put cookies on Zeke because uh, he'll be able to kill a lot more things if there's a, a blockage uh, using cookies and Pizza Glen will. Got three turns to the incoming, so we really want to get over that right hand side. So, first thing I'm going to do is just run people forwards to see what's around the corner. I've got nothing around the corner, so they're all up here. But I am just going to leave them be for a minute. And what I really don't want to happen, but is probably going to happen. Oh, he didn't. I thought he might. Um, Overwatch the walkers over here, which I didn't want to happen because um, they would have come and blocked this path here. Let's go and see what we stun over this side. All of them, which is really nice. I was going to leave Merle here for a second. So luckily I crippled it. Um, and we can then let's, uh, let's move up Glen and get him charged. And what we're going to do is stun these ones again with Zeke. Open this box with Glenn. And... It's not going to stun that one, is it? Because that's not going to hit. It might do. Let's see. Oh, it did. Brilliant. So we've opened two, uh, the back two. We do have an incoming now, though, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, I think we can handle it. Uh, so I'm going to move Merle along one, because the incoming is going to come out here. And I'm going to leave him in Overwatch so he crit. Oh, that's risky. Very risky. Let's do it anyway and hope he does overwatch and cripple it. And uh, with Glenn, we're just going to stay stood here for now. We might as well hit that one. He did. Brilliant. So here's the incoming. <clears throat> and let's have a look. It's annoying I've got two. I don't like getting those two boxes. I want to be, have this box up here as the last one because um, it makes it much easier to get out. Uh, what I'm going to do is move Zeke across and use his charge attack to push those up there and then follow up and see if I stun stuff. And I'm going to quick move and use his charge attack and then run down here and let's slow this one down if it's over here okay so this is going to stun loads of stuff up here for us which is really nice and we're going to go and open this box Okay, that's fine. It didn't <coughs> didn't find the one we wanted it to. And what I'm going to do now is just move Glenn up to here, so that I can move Zeke and definitely stun one of them. If I didn't stun that one then it would have attacked Zeke because he's higher in the priority and they're equal distance apart. But I didn't need to worry about that. Now I'm going to run Merle up here now. Mm, now I can either risk it and either go for that one because this box is now blocked which is, and it would be a pain to have to push it out of the way because then that would block our exit at the top push it down couldn't really push it down 
Okay, let's um, let's herd these two. So what I'm doing is making I can herd two. Um, so I'm just making sure the circle only has the two in that I want to herd. And I'm going to run forwards. It is that box. Okay. That's not too bad, actually. What I'm going to do is move. And move Zeke over this side. And uh, it's going to hit these two. And I'm going to bring Glenn back ready to open this box because these two are going to walk up towards Mal. Open that box. And then we can go and stun one. And move Mel right round out the way then. And move Glenn up here first. Mel as far as he can. <laughs> this is risky. I think I'm going to get killed. No, good, I didn't. The um, reason I thought I was going to get killed is because I thought I was going to push one out of the way. And if I didn't, Prime didn't kick in, the other one would have been able to come and get me. Um, luckily, Prime did kick in. And now we've got to clear the line. Um, looking at this, we've got 353s and 255s. So what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to use Zeke's normal charge attack for now. And then get him charged back up again. Oh dear. I was hoping I'd be able to shoot that one. Um... Okay, let's um let's just leave Merlin overwatch. Yeah, excellent. Um and the reason I didn't use cookies last time is because you get a lot more power from power strike. Um so I'm gonna do that this time. Which cleared the line. And everyone can get on it. Not my cleanest play, probably, but um, hopefully it gives you some idea of how to do it. Um, I would have much, much preferred the back two not to have been got, being the two padlocks, because <clears throat> then you can move to the other boxes a lot quicker and a lot safer, knowing you're not going to open that line before you're ready. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.